Hi again, Mr. Spencer. Hello. How goes the investigation? Well, we found the thief. His name was Richard Llewellyn. He got hit by a car last night and passed away. Oh, dear. Did you get a chance to speak to him before he passed? Not much. Can we ask you some questions? Richard admitted to the theft when we spoke with him, but he also mentioned that we should search the house for the bonds. He said he hid them there. Do you know of any good hiding places on the grounds? The whole house is a hiding place. I haven't the foggiest idea where you could even start. Where were you and Mr. Spencer born? Why do you need to know that? I guess we don't need to know, but we've encountered resistance whenever we ask Mr. Samuel Spencer about his past. And honestly, we're just trying to get to the truth. I don't feel comfortable disclosing information about my brother. His past is his to share or hide. The same brother who was so eager to send you up the river just a few hours ago? <sighs> Look, my brother and I had a rocky childhood. If you promise not to tell him I told you... Promise. We were both born here. What, in Bayport? No, here, at this house, the nurse's station specifically. Are you joking? No, before this place was a private residence, it was an asylum. Yeah, we found out about that. Our father was the superintendent, Oren Ingram Spencer. He founded and ran the hospital. Why would Samuel care if we, or anyone for that matter, knew he was born here? I think he's ashamed. The hospital failed, there was a fire that shut the whole place down. My father never fully recovered from the blow, and apparently neither did Sam. How is Lily doing today? She seemed in good spirits this morning. She went to Mugshots, the coffee shop downtown. Knowing her, she'll be there most of the day reading. Oh? Well, maybe we'll drop by. Say hello. Maybe, huh? Is Mary around? I haven't seen her yet this morning. She often wakes up long before I do and meanders the grounds before the sun gets too high. We'll speak again later, Mr. Spencer. Frank? Shh! Look over there! What? Is that who I think it is? Shh! Don't let her see you! We've got a... Someone's got a... Why would she... I don't know. Let's go see what she was doing over there. Mrs. Spencer, may we speak with you? Of course, dear. Are you okay? Whatever do you mean? We saw you. At the nurse's station. You looked upset. Oh, oh, it must have been my allergies. The pollen count is extremely high this time of year. We found the thief. His name was Richard Llewellyn. He was killed yesterday, but at least that's settled. Is it? Do you know where Lily is? I believe she went off to that coffee shop she frequents. It's called Mugshots, I believe. Does this flower belong to you? What? Where? We found it just outside the nurse's station. Why did you take it? It belongs there. Mrs. Spencer, what exactly is going on? Dear, could you please make me some tea? This thief... Richard. Yes, Richard is... was my only son. Your son? Richard was Samuel Spencer's nephew? That's quite a coincidence. 
It isn't coincidence at all. How do you mean? I've known the Spencers all my life. Now I'm confused. Let me start from the beginning. Yes, please. My mother and father met while my father was interning at a small hospital. My mother was the head nurse, and they fell madly in love. When my father got the opportunity to be the staff physician at a nearby mental hospital, my mother came with him. Ingram Asylum? Yes. I was actually born on these very grounds. Ingram was a wonderful hospital, revolutionary for its time. Patients were treated more like guests. It was truly a place of healing. My parents lived on the grounds, and most other parents were reluctant to let their kids play near here. They called me Scary Mary, and I wasn't even a patient, so you can imagine how cruel they could be. My friends were usually children of the staff, or sometimes the patients. Dougal Seep! Oh, yes, I met him when we were both about 15. We were best friends. And then, the fire. The fire that closed down the asylum? Yes, the West Wing went up like a tinder. I wasn't anywhere near the fire, but both of my parents. They both died. Dougal told me. I kept hitting him and hitting him, and he just held me. After a while, Dougal and I grew apart, but I always felt connected to him somehow. And a few years later, we ran into each other again, and, well, Richard was the result. But why would Richard want to steal from his own uncle? I am afraid that's my fault. Your fault? How? The fire that killed my parents was no accident. It was caused by a single match lit by an angry and bitter young man. Samuel. Samuel. I've never forgiven him, and neither did my own son. Wait a minute. Why didn't Samuel tell us any of this? The fire was ruled an accident, but I know it wasn't. The last thing he wants is for that investigation to reopen. That's why he bought the mansion for a song from the government after the hospital closed. To be sure, the truth was never learned. And there may be another reason. Do tell. He doesn't know who I am, and neither does Thomas. What? How can that be? People change quite a lot. I hadn't seen the Spencers since I was 15, remember? I didn't see Thomas again for many, many years. I changed my name, I changed my hair. Mrs. Spencer, do you love Thomas? Yes, I do. Now. But you're right in suspecting that this was all a plan to get back at Samuel. It was. After I fell in love with Thomas, I tried to get Richard to let it go. But he was even angrier at Samuel than I was. I even convinced Dougal to come visit him here. To try and talk him out of it. But it didn't work. The night before the theft, he gave me this confession. It's cryptic and frightening. Not like Richard at all. Aha! So that's why Dougal was in town. He's a good man. And so was Richard. If he hadn't lived with my hate for so long, he wouldn't have done what he did. If anyone is to blame, it's me. Or Samuel. I don't even care about that anymore. I'm happy here. I love Thomas. Thomas loves Lily. I, I just want this whole thing to be over with. It isn't worth anything. First my parents, then my only son. How's your tea, dear? Are you all right? Thank you, Thomas. Boys, would you excuse Thomas and I? We have some things to talk about. Of course. Thank you, Mrs. Spencer. Mr. Spencer? <laughs>